guys are right here. Yes, and the center line is just going to move forward and flank one way or another. These... You guys hold. Same with you. Are they even engaging at all? No. Okay, shield formation. You guys, same. Archers, are you engaging anything? Fire at will. Charge. Where the damn it, where do those archers go? We need to eliminate them. I don't feel like we have enough over here to handle that though. They specifically there they are engage them the archers break so quickly but they are a problem if they are ignored now what are you guys doing oh you are doing what you're supposed to do these guys are charging that looks like that's firing in all units Where are the bandits? They're off hiding in the trees. That'll be fun in a second here, I'm sure. Form up. Retinue. Charge. Spearman. Flank. Jesus Christ, I didn't even get a chance to like get a cinematic view of the fight. They just broke immediately. Okay. Um... There are the bandits. I was waiting for the flank. Engage. Archers, form up. Where the hell's my retinue? Oh, it's behind the... There's so many units here, I can't even see them. Actually, nah, just keep firing. You guys engage as well. They're just gone. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 no. All right, so we lost about 10 units. Look forward to the game getting calved to hit those annoying skirmisher archers. Yeah, until we get, like, cavalry with archers, then we're just... Like, then it just becomes banner lords all over again. Uh, that's pretty much it. You guys are on defense. Where's the battle limit? They're outside of the battle limit. They're not even allowed to go over there. Oh, they'll have lost as soon as we break these bandits. They're leaving because they think they can get away. Because they're not the last unit standing. Normally the archers are the last unit standing. The bandits just hid this time. Get that banner up. The battle is no longer in pro- Oh, the battle lines moved? No, they are no longer in the battle lines. I win. This doesn't count anymore. And again, the battle wasn't, we weren't in the battle lines. 
when it first started. I thought they had to stay in the little circle. Okay, what's our unit losses looking like? Uh, we lost smirks, maybe, and 10 spearmen. All units, form up. A family is hungry, excuse me, where? Oh, this weird shit where if people are out in combat, yeah, whatever. All right, Pittsburgh, you actually can disband because you are technically already in your town. Everybody else, form up over here. For those of you new, we have a celebratory march after we win a battle. All right, we're going to go one at a time, make sure people are set for the, the next engagement. So can't get any mercenaries. Does it just stop offering mercenaries after a certain number of months? Or it just may do that after a while because, you know, I'm on year 15. All right, everybody get over here. Yeah, four families barely keep up with the buried deposit. Oh, I'm going to have to do... Uh, What's name? Set up a new filter for Nightbot to ban people. Many people watching. Bots, go away. Fresh start for me and me own. All right, everybody, form up. Great march. From what I understand, there are a limited total number of Merc units. You may already have some. And the AI have the rest. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Is that the AI just buys them all and then just keeps them. And if you can't do that early game... The thing is, though, if I kill off all of his mercenaries, which I'm doing, I guess some of them are breaking, but they're still coming back at full force. So, like, if his mercenaries get routed, they should be disbanded, and he shouldn't be able to have them anymore, but he keeps bringing more back. And if there are more available, I should be able to buy them. Because otherwise, early on, he just buys them and he just keeps them. He just keeps paying them every month. I suddenly, I now have a treasury large enough, now that my tax isn't as bad thanks to the new patch, I have enough that I can go through and just keep some mercenaries. And the only reason I have them is so he doesn't buy them. Like, I don't want the mercenaries. They're archer mercenaries. But I have them just so that we have more people on the field, which lowers his morale more and makes it so that he can't hire them and do the same thing to me. I think Greg said he was going to make it so that there is sort of like we both have pools of mercenaries we can hire from and that way it, it makes it so that the the computer doesn't just buy them immediately. There was something he wanted to do to get that working. Realistically, I should get rid of one of our mercenary bands of archers. They have 25 experience. I don't know that I want to do that. They have, a, they have a lot of experience. But I question if they wouldn't be better as swordsmen. Not pikemen. Because the pikemen are only really good against armored units, it looks like. <clears throat> well, something to figure out in the future. 
See if we can't march mm, over here. No, I don't want you all going in the same in different directions. Can you all take the same route, please? No, that's not a thing that you guys will do. If I do this. How do you all still manage to like go different roads? They refuse to take the same parade route. Okay. Now it's personal. I didn't tell you guys to go over there. Maybe I did. Is it based on where you start? Yes, it is. But you know what? I'll take that. B, click off. I guess I should actually get them up here, huh? Because I don't remember which route they were going to take. I think they're going to come through this way? Because we'll find out. Where the hell am I? probably better if I do it in cinematic mode because then I can speed it up a little bit but you know we have a third person mode why don't we use it this is kind of fun to just come around here I think they're going to take this route and just be able to see all the flags and troops make their way around the corners provided I understand where the parade route is you guys going this way slowly but yes can I go on his help yeah A true victory march through town. Kigandor banners high, even though this is a Nuzlocke. They're a, they're a vassal of Kigandor. Coming back successfully, having conquered Wolbrand from Baron von Bitchface. Banners held high. The retinue. Great matching gear, very shiny armor. Oh, let me go the way. And then the mercenaries at the back with the Fleur de Lis. Which actually looks really good with the uh, Kigador blue and gold. I don't know how the archers got so damn bloody. I guess a couple of them actually, you know, got flanked a little bit. I don't think we take any losses from that. Now, were those troops? Did I see a banner go that way? They were like, well, fuck that. I wouldn't mind being able to change some of the, uh, I don't know what the her heraldry is called when it's like off the, the main flag. Obviously the Kigandor fox behind me is your primary banner. And then it's just what unit flag, which is obviously a lot larger. But for your, for your peasants, it might not be bad to have some influence over that. Understand if they want their own crayon drawings on there, that's fine too. interfering with uh, logistics here now. <laughs> what the hell was that? All right, all right, all right. Everybody else, you are disbanded. Let me re resume. No normal duties. Why can't I disband this unit? Where the hell are you? V, U. Order. 
Fancy presents. F fancy peasants getting crayons. I like. I like to spoil my my charges, my vassals. Except for apparently these guys. How did you guys get? Did you get lost? No, I misclicked on you. Shit, that means the Pittsburgh retinue is over there, isn't it? Pittsburgh retinue, where are nuts nuts lock? No, the Pittsburgh retinue isn't. You just didn't get the order to come back. Oh, you guys get to sprint then. I'm fine with that. Everybody else can go back to doing what the hell it was they were doing. Why are you going that way? Stop going. What? Oh, double click makes them sprint. Maybe. Yes, it does. If you double click, if you double right click, they run. Also, they seem very insistent on going the wrong way before they go the right way anytime they're near town. Trevor, do you have the game? Are you a, are you a lord or a wandering knight? Because we get some people that are checking out the come in and check out the game. Some people are coming in and check out mechanics. You idiots, get the fuck out of there! You know what? I was about to tell you to sprint, but it really doesn't matter. Where are we going next? Oh, you just installing! Oh, congratulations on your new fiefdom. Are you going to be installing... I would play the base game before I would install the experimental branch. However, I do know there's some people who buy and immediately install the experimental branch. Just looking for an idea of how it works. Surprisingly well for an early access game. <clears throat> At least with the experimental branch versions, which I suspect after enough testing they'll be rolled out. The market control in the beginning, it's it's now I'm sitting here going, I've, I've played release, I've played the last patch, and I'm playing now the new patch that came out today. I'm going, wait a minute, what am I giving advice for? And I can't even remember what the hell the changes are anymore. <laughs> Honestly, ditto. And what I would love to see in this game is some RimWorld inspiration where you get to set priorities of your peasants so that you're not taking them off of the farms and putting them like onto wood cutting in the winter and vice versa. Like if somebody, if a, if a family is unassigned, okay, then let me assign at least priorities to unassigned families. They kind of do it themselves, but I don't know what the exact order is. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to ask, more than happy to ask, more than happy to answer. Any indication when crossbows come out or more skill points for towns and more skill points unmasked? I imagine that will be well after the game gets more, like they iron out more of the playability issues right now. But it's, according to Greg, it's based on what people are asking for the most. I suspect that Greg wants to add new stuff. However, yeah. I think we need more stalls. Welcome, Vel. Did finally fix the mercenaries. What was wrong with the mercenaries? I only got the Loserville thing once, if that's what you mean. Where do you all work? You're a farmer and you're a granary worker. <clears throat> Which granary? You know, you work at this one now. And, uh, so do you. And this place takes apples. Oh, that part. If the Baron used to hire mercs, they went away from the pool of mercs permanently. I think I'm going to have to start a new game to get that, because I have noticed that I didn't restart, and I don't have any... 
Those guys made it back. <clears throat> what happened to all your food there? What food? Is it possible to lose? Absolutely. So if you don't want to uh, learn how the combat works early on, you can play in kind of a sandbox mode, so you're only dealing with the economy. Uh, if you are familiar with like Rome Total War or games with battle tactics because morale, flanking, all of those things exist and they matter in this game, you might want to watch some videos on that first before you engage with that because if you can't keep raiders from burning down your town, well, they'll burn down your town. <laughs> oh, Selbits? I just got Selbits. There's no town there. So any of the places that I I have no settlement in, yeah. Like, it's hard enough to maintain Pittsburgh and... Oh. They're going to be up, <sighs> upset about that. Where's the corpse bit? Oh, right. We fought here, didn't we? Yeah, we should probably do something about that. How many families do we have? Okay. About, uh, right about there sound good? That'll do. Nope, we just have Nuzlocke in Pittsburgh, and now we're gonna steamroll all the way over, probably here. I'm gonna loop around here and then come back to this so that I've at least got one nearby town. Because he's gonna hop out from the side, and I bet she's gonna bring like 13 different units to my maximum of eight. Now, at least I can have eight now. I was stuck with six before with my retinue. New patch fixed that. I like the chance to get rolled over if I'm doing something wrong. Fair enough. Game does have an autosave. I kind of like the... How organic you can build the towns. I mean, I like a lot of things about this game. When was the last time you've seen a... Like a city builder game like this with graphics this good because you're looking at unreal 4 the game's been in development for the better part of a decade now so it's unreal 4 not 5 and it would take forever to upgrade past that but that's really all you need for it to stand apart because so many of these games have their own engines that just don't look like this like you could take uh oh christ what was it either anno 1800 or transport giant any of those and zoom in but everything still looks kind of, you know, PlayStation 2 graphics kind of stuff because it's rendering that all the time. Unreal 4, this looks leaps and bounds better. And that's it's just going to be like that. Unreal 5 with Nanite and Lumen and all that stuff that I've looked into because game development interests me a lot. Jesus Christ. The, the next gen level of this uh, done in Unreal 5 will m just be amazing. Can you go to fighting on the battlefield like in Banner Lords? No. <laughs> you can you can do this. I mean, well, like you saw, you can hop down and you can view stuff. But Greg has already said this is just a this allows you to immerse yourself in the town. But no, they will. There is no ever any plans for fighting in Banner Lords. I was actually I picked up Banner Lords recently. I played the shit out of Warband, <clears throat> and I was really disappointed because the last patch in Banner Lords basically made it so that. You kind of have to use ranged weaponry, otherwise... Well, it's, it seemed really unbalanced, or I did not know what I was doing. And of course, all of the guides that I'd seen were completely out of date because there had been a patch this January or February. So all of the guides didn't matter anymore. Tournaments had been changed dramatically, and I just was just like... So I came back to <clears throat> Manor Lords. Different, different Lords. Okay, it's June, July, August, September. Yeah, I do a, bit, a fair bit of that, Trevor, with uh, different games. Oh, they still need to build it. So I'll get around to that. Like, I get uh, <laughs> Sky, one of my viewers, one of, my, one of the regulars here, keeps wanting me to play Elden Ring and stuff like that, and I'm like, <clears throat> no. I get enough frustration in my life, I'm not playing a Souls-like. But, I mean, I'll watch people play that. I accidentally wound up playing... My first name, by the way, uh, for everybody new, 
for curtailed comic, but I'm Fox Keegan, one half of it. My wife went to bed. <clears throat> but my first name is Legally Fox. So Tunic was just like, oh, I absolutely have to play this game. And didn't realize I accidentally picked up a Souls-like game. I was like, oh, okay. All right, let's get everybody moving along. Because I don't want people out on the battlefield during the harvest season. We're probably pretty good for that. But it's July. August, September. September's when they're going to start harvesting. So if they get everything taken care of, we're probably good to roll through. But as it stands, we can't even go through the fields as it is. Like, we've got quite a quite a bunch of fields. So I don't see people coming back in time. I guess I should also check and make sure. Did they? Yeah, they reinforced. So we have enough people. The mercs won't, but not a ton I can do about that. We'll pay for, you know, we've got 5k after they uh, updated the king's, after Greg made it so the king's tech isn't as bad. It's not a, a huge deal anymore. So we'll just, we'll plow through, no pun intended, this year. Move on to the next and engage over there. <laughs> Welcome Five Old Goes West, good name. Been a while since I've uh, thought of that movie. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, it forced me to learn how to use regional wealth before, but like I was, I was main, I was keeping my head above water. In the beginning, it was kind of rough, and it actually encouraged you to not level up your town so that you could get trade established before you started getting taxed. Now it's all time based, so it's not as it's not as big of a deal. I mean, this, I think I was like at 1.8, basically double what it was before. But once you figure out that your regional wealth is what you're taxing, so the, the more regional wealth a town has, the more of it you can tax, then you start getting lots of money. Because I thought it was just however much we were bringing in, I was taxing. I didn't realize you only tax the amount that you have. I don't even think I'm taxing Pittsburgh. Might be wrong. Where the hell is my, my manor out here? Excuse me, what just honked? Yeah, they got no tithe over here. <clears throat> One of my sticks is going tier three too fast. Needed to grow out of the lower tiers before growing up. Yeah. Now you don't have to do that with the latest patch. What just honked? Pantry is full. You get a horn for the pantry being full? I don't think that's what that was. Is there an end game or can this be theoretically endless? Technically, when you win, you can just advance. Not, I think there's a bug in the non-experimental version where if you win and you try to click continue playing game, it just checks the condition again and therefore says, so it's like you win. You're like, okay, continue playing. And it goes, you win. Okay, continue playing. And it'll just keep doing that. Uh, the very first patch, I believe that got fixed for the experimental branch. I remember what bad thing came about in the first experimental patch. I don't know that you can still play the first experimental patch. I guess you'd be stuck playing the one I'm doing right here. Which, I mean, that works because, yeah. How did the windmill get full of grain if nobody was working in it to pick up the grain? Who was dropping that off? Were people in the, f nobody's in the farmhouse. Uh, I guess technically, once you've conquered all the land, you can you kind of set your own goals. Like RimWorld's kind of the same way. Yeah, I was really honestly the reason I'm playing this tonight, and I have not for I don't know a week and a half is well partially because I was sick, but also because I saw what this patch was doing, and I'm like, all right, I'm picking it back up.
Yeah, it's it's how well not all not a lot of games scale well. Like Stellaris kind of does it well by making it so that after a while it's like, okay, do you want to micromanage this many sectors or you just want to hire a governor? And this game makes you be a governor and a general. And if you're out fighting, you kind of want a general a, a governor handling stuff back in the burg. And if you have two towns now, well, if you're like, if you could queue up things better, like I've got Nuzlocke here in Pittsburgh. I don't even remember what the name of the place was originally. But I would like to be able to queue up a bunch of things. And I suspect that that will come with it. But otherwise, you're just, you're going to one area and you're like doing things and then you're speeding up time to get through it. But then if you're doing that, you can't be going back to your other town to be keeping on top of whatever the hell is going on over there. So... I don't know how they plan on doing that, but I think that is way beyond the the end game level of what they would be, uh, what they're expecting us to be doing just yet. Does that make sense? I don't see them attacking me anytime soon, so I should probably be in Wallbrand or at least over here. You're not sprinting, are you? No, they're, just, they're waddling along. At least that, that way they were within the confines of my map, but also... I guess they took care of that. Okay, now it's super full. It took, looks like one grain turns into two flour. Oh, right, yeah, I guess we need somebody in the uh, oven too, wouldn't we? Game downloaded. I wish you the best of luck. I don't know if you have any questions. May your manor and people reign. Or I guess long, long live the Lord. Let's see how well these guys do when it comes to harvesting. Oh, do you have people in the farmhouse? No. Good. That's good. That's good. That's great. Why is the windmill suddenly full now? What the hell happened? Like, they've got plenty of veggies and berries. I guess I could take all the families off the foraging hut and just move them over to the farmhouse. Probably put more than that over there. How many more days do I have? Enough. Like, realistically. Probably take people off the oven and that as well. There we go. Complain. Not gonna complain for very long. Nuzlocke over here has literally eight families per farmhouse, and it still can't get through all of this. Maybe it will now because I've taken the oxen off. The oxen are garbage. Exposed stocks windmill. How? Why are they exposed? Are they laying on the ground? Because there's so damned many of them? Okay, new plan. How many people can we have in the communal oven? Three families. Do it. That'll get some of the flour out of there. Everybody else is over here. Yeah, that's fine. When they luck, they'll actually, you know, show up over here. What what stocks are getting wet? How many? We already have five families in the granary. They are moving some flour over here. And it doesn't even need to be over here because the oven's over there. Oh, well, I'm playing for over four hours. Ready. 
Oh, good. The royal tax has increased. It looks like the royal tax increases at September. I mean, September is kind of a big deal. To the point that I'm going to... Nobody ever looked like they even got over here to do anything. If some of that flower goes bad, that's just tough shit, I guess. The farmhouse is set. We'll see how this works out. I do have to hit the restroom. I'll be right back. Stick around, please. And uh, hopefully nothing catches on fire due to lightning. Wait, are they going to be coming out to do stuff? Something to actually watch as they work the fields? There we go. And I'll see you all in just a moment. my earbud plug. Okay, fun fact, when you're streaming with a helmet on, your earbuds have to go in first. If you forget that, you're screwed. However, that also means you have to unplug your earbuds from the mixer and then I've never lost the plug before. What the fuck? Ah, fuck, it's stuck in the chamber. Hold on. Things you have never heard on stream before. There we go. Every time we play Manor Lords or uh, similar games, I try to find somebody else to raid that is also wearing armor. It hasn't happened yet. All right, let's see how fast they can take care of this so we can get back to war. See about winning up the game. I'm assuming we are getting shitloads of money because the horses are actually working. I don't know about the bartering system with the pack mules. How are we looking at for actual iron ingots? We have zero iron slabs and we have plenty of bread. Let's play with the pack meal system, which is allegedly also working. But one spare family on that. We're going to barter with Pittsburgh. We're going to send bread because I guess we could send ale. Which ale do we have? What does it fall under? Commodity? Uh, we don't have as much ale as I thought we did. Probably send clothes because they can't grow that. But more importantly, uh, bread. Because we can grow way more bread than they can. Although I think they're already trading some of that. I don't know if they have a decent amount. Let's find out. Bread, and they should have a fair bit, and if not overwhelming amounts of iron to trade back. How's clothing looking? Does anybody need clothing? Yeah, these, these guys do. 
I'm probably going to need another clothing. So I've got like 125. We probably need to expand the market just a little bit. And, you know, make sure... Because I already have the town, this is why you should <clears throat> probably start a new town with a new patch. I now have to go through and make sure that nobody else has the ability to open up a market stall. Like the tanner. Actually, the tanner probably is fine running a market stall. Why do they have two families in there? I think the other one was to go get hides. I think we're okay with that right now. Oh, I guess this one caught fire. Fair enough. You guys don't need market stalls. I think I got all of the veggie gardens not doing that. Almost. That's one of the big boons of this patch, is making sure that when you go through and do all of this... Why did you get all of them? Wait, you already have one? Stop that. Why did you get all of them? You don't get places opening stalls that you don't want opening stalls. One thing I'd like to do before I take stop this uh, this particular instance is try to get this plot out here to have fuel, food, and clothing because it should and it just doesn't. And I don't understand why. I guess September really isn't the best time to do that because we have a lot of people harvesting. Or do we? If I go to this family here, go to the people, they do not appear to be harvesting vegetables at all. They're just waiting, 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 and going home. Good grave diggers. Fair enough. Now we don't. Yeah, I do wish we had more. Wow, they go so much better at this without oxen. Like, they'll be slower to pick stuff up, but at least they're going to be scattered all over the place and walking back and forth for half of the month. It's just a swarm. Let me just go to the closest farmhouse. Where are you guys going, and why are you going all the way back there? What are you guys doing? I cannot highlight you specifically. Transporting wheat. Okay, you are going the right way with it. What are you doing? Transporting... Oh, some of them are just going to the storehouse instead of the farmhouse? Maybe? What's wrong with this? Oh, it's not done growing. That's why they're ignoring this. Okay, so that's the new thing in the patch is if they don't finish sowing everything by spring, then, or by winter, I guess, even if they sow it in spring, it's not going to be done because it's only half grown. This would have been grown in like, finished growing in like July, so it does take longer now. Burned half of the fields. Let's see if that helps the 
That doesn't seem to do much at all for fertilizing. <laughs> or do they have to come over here and do that? Why did you run all the way over there instead of dropping it off here? Okay, that's really weird. And it looks like they would have harvested this. If I hadn't burned these, uh, they would have harvested it anyway. things with that many people yeah i could have gone through and actually harvested the part even the partial harvest on these nope okay, they could have tried now we're in october so they're immediately gonna go back to uh presumably gathering things i think it's what they're doing yeah they're, they're bringing all the stuff in i mean some of these fields at least why did they go back to that one or why did they not haul in nope there's plenty of other stuff that needs to be hauled in <clears throat> so yeah, without the oxen, they will go through, harvest everything in September. October, they bring everything in. November, they plow and seed. Unless they start plowing and seeding now. But granted, with how fast this is going. I guess this is taking longer um, without oxen. Not by a ton. They only seem to be grabbing stuff one at a time. Yeah, as far as wheat, it said people carry stuff five at a time. That might have been for the traders. Pack mules, they definitely don't carry wheat from the fields five at, five at a time. Like, these numbers are not going down by five. Like They're going down fast, but I have a lot of people coming through, and it's going down by less than five. I guess I'm going to slow it down so you can see the numbers, but yeah, it's definitely going down one at a time. Each peasant only, or each villager, only carries one wheat. Why do I have to carry this alone? Oh, that's part of the delay too, is they'll come back if there is something to carry, but if they don't get back before everything's been carried away, then they just keep coming anyway. How is the large storehouse getting things soaked? Oh, because it's full. Well, that's a damn good reason, isn't it? Christ. I don't... Okay. Can you put firewood somewhere else maybe please we have a whole other storehouse where we could put firewood why don't we just stop stocking firewood here will that take care of the problem will you get it out of there if that's the case so a little bit come out so 10 come out another 10 gonna come out i think i just went to the firewood stall i'm gonna guess also, are you guys uh, actually farming stuff? You are sowing. That's good. I hope you get this done by uh, winter, because otherwise you're all going to die. Actually, it looks like uh, you did. You guys are the bigger concern. seems like even if you have too many fields, if, even if you do like an off and on, like if that one took a really long time to harvest everything, so I don't think they need it all plowed and seeded in time. Granted, like a third of these fields are going to stay fallow. I bet you this one's fallow. A band of raiders has been seen near Hofstetten. 
Damn, if only I had a standing army ready to go. So that that wouldn't interfere with all of my, uh, all of my peasants. I mean, I was going to go over there and attack right after everything was sewn anyway, so sure, keep that, keep that up. But realistically, with all of these spare farmhouses I have, I could go through, put another farmhouse up, fill it up, and still be pretty good to go. Let's see how many of these we actually get taken care of at first, though. Whom are they attacking? Ah, I see. They're coming straight down here. Why don't we just meet him in the corpse pit? I don't know that the Pittsburgh retinue is going to get over here in time. We can try. Yes, sire. All right. Let's engage them from the hill. Maybe. Yes, sire. What the hell was that? I don't know if we're going to get over there before they do. Also, can we hire any more mercenaries? Nope. I don't think anybody in the game can hire any more mercenaries at all. But this is why I kept the Pittsburgh retinue over there. Like, in case raiders came from down here, at least they would have one retinue they were able to field. Because at this point, unless you disband a militia over here, you can't form up a militia over here in your new place. Who's going to get over here? I think the bandits move faster than my troops. But at times they do wonky shit like doubling back. Like that. Hmm. What are you guys doing as far as planting and sowing goes? I feel like we have enough money that if we lose some retinue, it'll be fine. Or some mercenaries, maybe. Wouldn't mind having at least one set of pikemen up here, though. Or you know what? Maybe our, our archers. I think I'll make it here in time, but what the hell, right? And of course, it's raining, thereby making my archers absolutely ineffective. Even with the high ground. Remember those pike men I was saying that I probably don't need? Let's get them over here. Can I tell my archers to hold fire? No. I can just tell them to fire at will. Instead of shooting a volley, fires soldiers aiming directly at the enemy. Increases accuracy up close, but decreases accuracy at half the maximum range or more. Whatever the hell the maximum range is. So basically, don't click this until the unit gets close. Something they should probably be doing themselves. Oh, they can actually run pretty good distances. Ineffective arches are ineffective. Okay, at least one is going to try to flank. 
don't have to deal with him right away. Okay, I mean, in fairness, I have a lot of arches here, but holy shit. They're still shooting his ass. These guys are like, oh, I don't know if that was a good idea. Did you see what happened to those last guys? They're already, okay, bandits are very susceptible to archer fire. Uh, and at this point, I think they are so close. Like, what is your maximum range? I think they can all just fire at will. Shoot at will. Which one's Will? They're all named Will. Unless they're on our side. The arrows break their confidence so fast. I think, you know what? It was probably just the date. We have so many troops over here. Jesus Christ. They're like trying to fight the retinue, then the spearmen come up, and then they just turn back and forth, and then they get shot down by too many archers. I mean, they were just bandits, so we're not even going to do like a celebration. However, that was funny. Are you engaged? Can't disband you to another home region. You're 